Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Marianelli. I do curly videos and also some beauty videos as well. I hope everyone is doing well and having a safe weekend. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I finger coil my whole hair um, to get a lot of volume and just to get really defined curls for those of you who need a little help with your curls. But before we get into this video, guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified every time I upload a video. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will link, I will leave my Instagram link at the bottom in the description box. You guys can just click it and follow me on Instagram. I'm posting a lot more curly pictures if you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah guys, if you guys wanna see how I got this uh, look and defined curls, I hope you enjoy it, keep on watching. Um, before I start uh, showing you guys how I finger coil my hair, if you guys don't want to listen to what I have to say about finger coiling, you can go ahead and just skip through. Um, but those of you who want to listen to what I have to say about finger coiling, then um, yeah. Okay, so finger coiling is a great way for people who are starting off in their curly journey or people who have wavy hair and just want to give their curls a little more pump. Um, Finger coiling does take a while. It is time consuming, but the results are really good. So if you want popping curls, um, take the time and do it. Um, this will give you so much definition on your curls. Don't think that this is gonna work for straight hair, so don't come at me. Um, yeah, finger coiling is for anyone who has some type of wave on their hair and you wanna just um, lift, give that uh, curl a bounce. Finger coiling is really good for that. Um, I have a lot of hair, so this, really took like, I think it took me like 40 minutes to finger coil my whole hair to like style it and finger coil and everything. I think it took me like 40 minutes to style. You guys don't want to cut your hair and you guys have a little wave from all the damaged curls that you have, then finger coiling is really good for you guys. And also um, you use a stronghold gel to hold that curl, hold that spiral in place. Um, but yeah, those are some of the tips that I could give you guys. Um, but yeah, but if you guys want to see how I got this hair, please keep on watching. Okay, so first we are going to start off with freshly washed hair. I'm going to section my hair for this process. So I don't wet style, I damp style. It works way better for my hair. I'm just going to spray it a little bit with water because it's actually in the dry side right now. So for styling products first, I'm going to start off with the Curlsmith Air Dry Cream. I've been loving this one, it's so lightweight on my hair, my curls love the moisture and this will be my leave-in for today. So I like to apply my products in a clumping way. I get a small section and I clump it together and give it a nice squeeze. second product I will be using is the Bounce Curl Avocado and Rose Oil Clump Cream. I've been loving this cream as well. This product screams moisture. I also love I also love the definition it gives my curls. This product is very concentrated and rich, so a small amount goes a long way. I'm going to apply it the same way. Then to hold everything together, I'm going to use my favorite gel. It's the We Dad a Stronghold Gel. I think for hair coiling a stronghold gel is best to retain the ringlet i love the hold this gel gives me i'm running low i need a new bottle then i'm going to be using my demon brush to get my hair completely saturated with all that product then i'm going to break my section into smaller sections to start coiling my hair the bigger the section the bigger the ringlet smaller sections will get you smaller ringlets so to coil, I like to use my middle finger to wrap my hair around it. So just keep twirling your hair with your finger. Don't pour your hair. If you feel like it's pulling, let go a little bit and slide your finger down to the tip of your hair. I hold my hair just because my hair is really long. And voila, you have a cute, perfect ringlet. So now I'm going to do the same to the rest. So I like to coil inwards and outwards. I like to do this to every other curl just so they are not all going the same direction.
So after I'm done with that whole section, I give it everything a nice big scrunch to help the ringlet keep that hold. You can add water if you like before doing so. Finger coiling is so great because it gives you almost no frizz. That's because you're turning all the hair together in place. Now I'm going to do that to the rest of my lower section of hair. So once I reach my face frame section, I like to coil outwards, away from my face. I do this to my whole face frame because I do not like my curls on my face. So I don't know if any of you guys have the same problem I have. I explained this in um, my all about my curly hair video. My crown section here is the driest area. I like to apply a generous amount of product to really hydrate that section. I also like to massage the product in for a good minute. So here I'm showing you guys that I like to section this as a L shape. I do this because I feel like I get more control where I want more volume. I like more volume on the very top of my head, so doing sections this way works for me. I always style my hair this way, even when I do not finger coil, I always do it this way. It always works for me. So at the very top of my head, I'm going to grab a bigger section to coil. I'm going to do two ringlets out of this section. For that volume, I make sure to coil my hair up. I bring the coil up, that way it helps to lift my root. I do bigger sections because when my hair is dry and it's time to separate the ringlets, I have a lot more curl separation resulting on more volume. I do exactly the same thing to this section, coiling up. Hey guys, so sorry I'm editing my video and I noticed that apparently my camera cut off the part that I wanted to show you guys of my bang area, how I do my bang area. So I'm going to quickly show you real quick. Um, so basically what I did for my bang area was um, I grabbed uh, my hair in sections in small sections and I didn't bring my hair to the front to the side or anything I actually brought it kind of leaning to the back and I coiled it just like this the reason for that was because if you coiled it down this way like this your hair coil your hair is gonna come to your face after it's dried so you're gonna have hair like this all over the face if you're like if you like that then you do that I don't like that so I made sure that all my bang area I coiled it to the back like so. Like this, I grabbed my other section and I did the same thing, I coiled it going to the back like so. Okay, just like this I let it drop this way. That way my hair is out of my face and I don't like that. So yeah, so this is what I did, okay, coiled it just like this to the back okay so I just wanted to quickly show you because that isn't very important for me if you guys do it um, coming this way then your curls are gonna come down this way to your face so this one too I coiled it like this going this way okay that way my my hair falls to the back like this after it's dry it's not on my face as you can see so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know. I'm sorry my camera cut off. So finally done coiling my whole hair. And this is what all the ringlets are looking like.
now i'm going to diffuse my hair i'm going to flip my hair over and start diffusing my root area my root takes the longest to dry but this also helps to lift my root for more volume i dry my roots till i start feeling like they are getting pretty dry then i start cupping my curls into my diffuser to start drying the rest of my hair i do this all around my curls After cupping my curls for 5 minutes or so, I flip my hair back and tilt my head over to the side to diffuse my hair. This also helps with that volume. And I bring the diffuser up and push the root with my diffuser and hold it there to dry. I do this back and forth to both sides of my head, also my crown area. After a while, I start shaking my diffuser to wake that root up to start getting fluffed out. Then I flip my hair forward once again just because I'm extra. After 40 minutes or so of drying, this is what my hair looks like. Now I'm going to apply my favorite oil and that is the Piquet oil. I talk about this oil more on my curly July favorites. I'm going to coat all my ringlets with this oil. Then I like to apply a little more oil to my hands and also the back of my hands to separate my curls. I do this just if I have to coil any curls after separating them. So this is what the curls are looking like after being separated. I love the definition. Also talk about the volume. I have not even fluffed it out and you can already see how much of volume I've gotten. So now to fluff my hair, I just use my fingers in between my hair and shake the roots. I do not have a pick so I think I'm gonna buy one to do this. are my final results i'm loving it i don't do this often but when i do i can't get enough of it i hope you guys like this video and give it a try let me know what you guys think about finger coiling don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope you guys have a great weekend and thank you so much for watching